Once again, talking about volatility, you just dip a toe into that corn options pit and you'll feel how hot that water is. Uh, we got some uh, bullish news this week with 67% uh, planted versus expectations of 71. Well, what did that market do to you if you were a bull and rewarded you with getting the news right? It punished you by selling off, right? And that market sold off pretty fast and that's what these markets do, right? See. I always talk about this when you, we go back five years from now, when you look back at these events and you'll think, man, I should have stayed long. I wish I was longer. A lot of times these good bull markets, and we're not quite in one yet, so don't get too far ahead of yourselves, but a good bull market will make it hard for you to stay long or stay, you know, long the market. Uh, and that's, and that's why it, it continued to rally is because it, there aren't a lot of weakness, weak bulls in that market. So it can go the strong hands will take it higher. And that's really what we might be setting up for here in corn. So we had some week longs that got out after they got some bullish numbers. Uh, and so we kind of had to refresh and kind of get a, a little bit of a healthier run at it. Now, we were expecting it to kind of go down and fill the gap in these corn. There's a gap between 420 and 425. We traded down to the 425 level and bounced again. And as these weather markets do, um, after we open up lower today here, we finished you know, six cents, six some odd cents higher. Uh, again, because that's how these weather markets are going to trade and, and they're going to be pretty volatile that way. So we expect at some point in time for that market, it's, it's, it's not a guarantee, but it's, it's a pretty good indicator that we'll go back and fill that gap. We went and touched the top of the gap today, a little bit of a head fake, and we rallied back. So we'll see what we can get out of it tomorrow. But those are some things that the technicians are going to have to keep an eye on. Now, if you are long the corn in the bin, in the field, Coming into today, we were looking at, say, the $4 puts in D's corn. You could have spent $0.13 cents to protect $4 puts. Well, when the market opened really low or a lot lower today, we were talking to customers about, hey, those puts just got a little bit more expensive as they do on a break, and they were up around $0.17, $0.18. Cents. But to give you an idea about how volatile things are today, those puts were trading like futures almost, right? Uh, by the time we went home today, they were trading, say, $0.13 cents again. So we've seen this market up and down the volatility is definitely here to stay that's been built into some of these option prices and these options and some of these cases and some of these strikes are actually trading like futures because things are moving around so much so be careful there but keep an eye on those technicals we've got to worry about that 425 the 420 gap in these corn uh, and then obviously you have to keep an eye on what's happening with the weather because ultimately right now corn's in a weather market and beans are in a tariff market that's the big difference so be careful keep an eye on both uh, well, and we'll see what we get out of tomorrow's numbers see ya